Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie here, and I'm here with some Dragalia Lost. And now before we start the video, I just wanted to say a quick sh mention to the fact that this is actually, you're getting a video later, and that's because I'm doing currently running a series where I'm playing through um, Fate Grand Order's um, Salem. It just came out as of when I am recording this anyway. Anyway, it came out in North America. And I'm playing through it, reading the story, having a, it's a real fun time. So if you want to check that out, check it out. Um... I know if you know, I would appreciate it. You should check it out. This is the reason why you're getting this video. Is what I'm trying to say. Uh, no one sponsors me, so I have to sponsor myself. And if you don't get out there and sponsor yourself, then who are you doing it for? Speaking of sponsorships, Mega Man is here. That's right. Everyone's favorite Blue Bomber is here. And let's just go into him. And then before I start anything, he has Metal Blade Leaf Shield. Metal Blade. He basically gets Metal Blades, and then you can shoot Metal Blades based off of. Um, how many you have it's gonna be weird i'll show you this is basically a mega man video by the way i'm gonna be talking about mega man and this is his leaf shield the leaf shield is also weird um you'll notice that both those skills are level one but also his mana circle is 50. uh we were told that we were supposed to get him upgraded for the event that hasn't happened yet as far as i'm aware um so great he has overdrive punisher and gauge accelerator increased damage to enemies in overdrive state by 50 percent and the rate of the mode gauge decreases by 10 percent <sighs> he has ls reactor boost damage dealt to boss enemies in Mega Man chaos protocol quest by 30 percent when shape shifting Mega Man will jump into rush regardless of what dragon you have equipped he has stun resistance and um i have cerberus uh, equipped to him these are the two warm prints I have, um, Mega Friends and Bonds Beyond Worlds. Um, I don't know what prints you should use for Mega Man, um, because Mega Man is weird. He's extremely weird, and I'm going to show you why I think he's so weird once we actually get into the playing of him for a bit. Um, skills at level 1, but okay, so... I'm going to show him Tyco 1v1. Make the this sound. is a test I Even do to every unit, basically, is how I run it on Imperial Onslaught and I do a Demon Trial, because that's basically the two things you will constantly grind. I don't do the harder content yet, um, just because, one, it's extremely hard and I don't want to ruin someone's time if they're trying to legitimately grind it. So that's really the, the long and short of it. Um, solo. So we're going to give Mega Man extra heals because I'm not sure he can survive this on his own. Okay, hopefully I'll need to remember to take off auto. So, Mega Man. He's the only unit we're getting from the Mega Man event. And let me tell you, he's extremely underwhelming. He is... Um, okay, so, of course. So let me turn that off real quick. So right now he has Metal Blades equipped. And you can see up there at the top right corner, that's how many Metal Blades I have. And now I've lost Metal Blade. Okay, now I'm going to activate Leaf Shield. Now, here's the thing. I currently don't have a weapon unless I go like this. And then I have to actually run into the, the, the opponent to deal any damage. Because if you throw it, that's bad. I would say that's actively bad. Okay, let's go into it. You can throw it, but it's just not good. Okay, and so, as you can see, we I have Metal Blades completely ready, but also I can't use it. So if I use this early, here's what happens. I don't have full Metal Blades, and now I'm out of Metal Blades. So Mega Man, in essence, only really, and this is Rush Jet. And Rush Jet's pretty all right from what I can tell. There we go. Wait, is Mega Man talking about us yellow? Everything about Mega Man, and also he has the charge shot, which is this right here. So Mega Man is obviously best to be put out front, which this is the one test where it's like... He also doesn't have any dialogue. I'm gonna switch out low end for a, um... I put low end there. No, actually no, I'm gonna keep it this way. Because again, this is the way I do it for every unit. It's not always low end, but it's usually a healer. Mega Man definitely does never want to take any damage. That's kind of his MO, and if he gets targeted, that's unfortunate. It's super unfortunate. All right, let's go Imperial Onslaught. This one. Okay. All right. I don't know how this one's gonna go either, to be honest. Uh, usually, I th I'm pretty confident in my ability to be able to beat this with one unit. Uh, Mega Man is not 
not good. He's... It's hard to explain, like, why is he so bad unless you play him. Okay, so he comes in. Okay, so let's equip Metal Blades real quick. Okay, hit him with the Metal Blades. Okay, okay, now we are out of Metal Blades. Activate the Leaf Shield. And so if you actually... If you toss the Leaf Shield, you lose Leaf Shield, but if you just run into them, you get multiple uh, instances of of um, Leaf Shield. So I think it's personally better to just actually go do this. Because if you use Leaf Shield and you throw it, you lose it. Okay, so there we go. So as you can see, look, if I use Metal Blades right now, I'm out of Metal Blades. But also notice that Metal Blades is instantly able to be um, used again. Alright. Not bad. And really, these are able to be used the second you have enough. But here's this is his damage. This is kind of what he does. Boom. Use metal blades. He deals bleed. This is just taking forever. I think we actually have him quartered now in probably the first time I've ever seen this. So let's see what happens when we use leaf blade like this. It's just gone. Okay. And I think this is kind of the way Mega Man is. This is the way you play Mega Man. This is top tier Mega Man play. Then you get Rush Jet. You shoot him right there. Boom, boom, boom. So here's my main problem with Mega Man. Is that, one, he's not good. And two, okay, no. That's not fair. The problem, the real problem is, is that these just don't do a lot of damage for what his class is supposed to be. Which is like, um, it has some of the most hard-hitting units in the entire game. And he just plays so weird and different, like... It's bizarre. Okay, what is this? Um, and the crazy thing is, is that Mega Man actually has better skills on his boss fight. He has like the, like the, the... Like, what is his name? He has like the abilities of the other robot masters. Okay, let's go here. And, I just, Metal Blade does decent damage. I mean, the problem is, is that Metal Blades is instantly gone the second you use him. And to be fair, I do think Mega Man kind of actually feels like Mega Man. Um, if you've ever played Mega Man. Um, he does feel a lot like that. But here's the main thing. Um, uh, let me go into his unit now. This is why Mega Man is so disappointing. And I'm gonna try and preface this by saying the devs specifically said this is the only unit we're getting from this crossover. Alphonse is, I actually think he might be on par in terms of Alphonse in terms of uselessness, usefulness, because Alphonse is another unit that we got free for the Fire Emblem uh, event, but he was meant to be something that's like, oh, he's free. So no matter what, you always can say you have a free Fire Emblem character. Um, he's not the best Fire Emblem character at all, but he's a free one. And then you have three other units that are actually like extremely good units. And that's the thing is that I think Mega Man has so much cool stuff about him. He has unique you can't do uh, unique mechanics that aren't in any other f adventurer at all. His co-op ability is pretty interesting too. Um, his force strike is completely different from any other kind of. Um, uh, mage of his status, but the problem is that he's just it, the problem is is it's level one Like at level one, you're not doing anything and for harder content like Mega Man was struggling to beat these events that other units if they went into and actually legitimately fought It would be like I don't know what the, the right way of saying it, but it would be like um, It would be tough like it, they would be able to be events quicker than Mega Man can and, you know, in a certain point, it's like, play whoever you want. Mega Man, I think, is decent enough that you can play him. The problem is, is that he just feels so weird that why would you play him over any other um, adventurer right now? And he's built so weird because none of his, like, Metal Blades, like, if you read Metal Blades, um, it says, um, the skill is not affected by skill prep, skill haste, energy, or skill damage. See, if it was affected by skill damage, oh, but no, then the Metal Blades, he shoots himself. Like, if... Again, I don't know. Everything about Mega Man is just weird, and I wish he was better personally, because he's the only unit that we got from Mega Man. 
This is the only shining example we have for the Mega Man event, and I feel for that specific honor, he should be better. But, you know, maybe I'm being too harsh because I, you know, I wanted other Mega Man characters, you know? I think it's totally fair it's for someone to go. And here's the thing is that I really do think he was well built and well thought out. The problem is, is that he needed to be stronger. He needed to be something worth having. Otherwise, he's just another free-to-play character that's... He's also not as good as other free-to-play characters. This is a free-to-play 5 character. and He is worse than some other 4s, and it's crazy to me. So anyway, that's what I feel. That's kind of Mega Man. I think he's, again, well built out in terms of how he's animated and everything else. I just wish his unit was better. But that's what I feel. If you have a differing opinion, I would love to hear what your thoughts on Mega Man are. You know, tell me. I'm always open to listening and, you know, changing my view. If uh, a good enough argument comes up, comes up, especially for Dragalia, for a game that I usually just ask a lerp about. And the fact that the one thing we all can agree on is I think the Mega Man event could have been better. Alright everyone, that's today's video. I hope you liked it. It was a slightly more negative one, but it had to be done. I needed to address the elephant in the room. So until next time, everyone, you have a good day now, and have a good night.